What's going on guys, welcome back to episode 2 of our Draft to Glory F franchise mode of Draft to Turku where we can only draft players and use players from Finland. So with that said, here in the year 1 offseason we drafted Aaron Kivi Harju, drafted 3rd overall, already has a good shot, and okay skating, that's only going to get better. Doesn't have any X factors, but hopefully he's going to develop some for us. Uh, we released all the guys who are not drafted by us on those expiring deals. And we are getting our goalies signed here. This is a young guy, French starter, 63 overall. He's our number one prospect at the moment. So we're going to try and make room for him. Uh, these guys that all got drafted by us, we're just going to get them all signed. And then again, hopefully we can pick up some players in free agency that are 19 and 20 years old that were also drafted by us. So we're going to sign these guys. Just going to make sure I got numbers here. Take a look. So main roster. Again, just got to take a look here. There's going to be some guys that weren't drafted by us, but those are fine. It's guys like this that uh, were drafted. Um, again, as long as they're from Finland and 20 years old or 19 years old as the UFA, we can sign them. Strictly because when we were going through it in the first off season, we had to go to we literally had to go to the bottom of the free agent list, and it just took way too long. To, and that was just to get enough guys to ice a team, let alone end up icing poten potentially a team that can go win us something. So. Yeah, you can see all here, it's all kind of out to lunch. Some of these guys won't be on the team after next season. Uh, yeah, so we're definitely, it's looking like we're going to sign most guys. Because 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Okay, yeah, so we're going to have to sign a few forwards. So unsigned forwards, all of them can get signed here. That's fine. And then defensemen, we're going to take a look at what we have now. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So we're going to have some extra defensemen uh, that we don't need to worry about here. Uh, probably, hang on, let's take a look here. So Kiwi Harger, him, Imonen's a 49. So we're probably going to let him, hey, let's take a look trying to think here what I'm gonna do defensively like go all the way to the bottom this like this guy's undrafted so I'm actually gonna I mean we can just buy him out honestly because we're not gonna have to worry about the salary cap anytime soon here so I think that's the play other than that we should be all right so that's get him moan and sign okay I'm good with that yeah, I think that's okay. And we're actually going to buy out probably another... Yeah, we can buy out this guy as well. Again, just to kind of clear up some space for us and make things work a bit easier. Again, and they only have to do it for a couple seasons at like 300,000. So it just makes enough sense to go that route. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. If I can get rid of a couple more, again, as long as they're undrafted guys, I have no problem just buying them out. Okay, that works. Get those guys out. I think that gets us down to 12. Hang on. So, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Uh, okay, so that means one more needs to go. Uh, low HL2. We'll get rid of him. There we go. So we're starting to get the team to come together a little bit. Defensively, we're filled. Uh, we could end up adding in free agency yet, depending if uh, we find a player from Finland that can fit this team. But yeah, other than that, we could really use a starting goalie potential. So with that said, let me just make a note of how many players we need to pick up here. And I will see you guys in a minute. We are ready to get underway with free agency here. We got everyone lo locked in that we needed to. So let's go straight to the two ways. Look by potential and hopefully we can get a young forward in that 19 to 21 range. That is a fin. 
That would be absolutely huge if we can do that. Obviously, Daniel Gushin's not. Well, we could really use this guy's. I know these two aren't. I wish there was a way that you could uh, actually search by a uh, country, though. Bang. There we go. That's going to be a UFA also. Yep, we are eligible to sign him. So, give him a max deal. Two years uh, on the rookie deal. So, that helps his team. That'll he'll, And he's a medium nine, so he actually has potential to become something for this team as well. Uh, Ekmark, I think he's a Swede, but he's also not old enough. I mean, young. Okay, there we go. Demek, nope. Okay, 20 year old playmaker, four cells, no. Well, I'm really hoping we can find a couple forwards. Mike and Oliver Kapanen. That will work. <laughs> Medium 971, he's gonna become possibly our number one forward this year, actually. We will gladly take that. Now we keep looking here, so we have two forwards offered. So we just need to offer up two more forwards for the team. But again, if we're if we're just finding medium not okay, no low nines. As long as we're finding good potential guys, we'll keep looking here. But I think we're just gonna stick with look for four forwards for this off season, and then we'll be good. Oh, I was hoping that would be a fin. Hold on, give me one, even one more fin with uh, some NHL potential would be perfect. Oh uh, yeah, we could really use a player right about now. Vicenin. That's going to... Yep, there we go. That's one. So if we can get one more here. One more is exactly what would we, we would need for forwards. Then we can focus on going back to the defense and all, as well as the goaltending. Because if we can upgrade the goaltending, that would be amazing. We're savvy is not. Pizzetta, definitely not. Okay, let's see. 19. Nasland. Nope. Taro Solani. <laughs> we can sign Solani. <laughs> what are the odds? This is Timu's uh, kid, boys. I, I would not be shocked one bit. He is absolutely horrible. But uh, NHL potential, so we're going to sign him to his entry level deal. I will, I will gladly take that. We needed uh, the extra bodies, that's for sure. Oh, maybe another one. We finally we're getting some bodies. Okay, this is actually very good. Okay, that's it for forwards though that we needed. Defense, we don't really need one. Um, but if there's one there that is 21 or under, then I would have said yes. Put in the comments if you guys think I should be allowed to sign these kids who have a decent potential, but they're over like 22. Right now I have the age cap that we can sign at 21. But a 22, a 23 year old UFA, Anthony Honka, man, that would be good. But again, the rules are, the way our current rules are set up, uh, can't do it. Langlois, nope, that sucks. The NHL potential is all I want. If if there's, if we get down to the AHL guys, I'm not going to sign one. Once as soon as we get down to AHL, then we won't. There we go, Malin, and get him signed. And again, we have so much depth. Uh, on defense, that's why I don't want to sign too many. But again, if we could sign one or two, then that definitely helps. None of those guys will be. Maybe this one? No. And now uh, let's go take a look at the goaltending. He's 22. God damn it. That had a chance to be it. Mary Lane in, though. Come on! Oh, that is huge. He's only, and he's, again, he's only 21, so we can do it. That is massive. We have our goalie of the future, potentially. Okay, there we go. And again, we have a goalie in the system that's worth it. So that will work out very good for us. Uh, we might just have to get rid of one goalie, though, is the only thing. Because I think we might have too many in the system. I'm just trying to think. I don't think we have too many, but I'm going to try that for now. And if there's if it doesn't let us sign him, then we'll circle back and make it so we can. Okay, let's check the scouts. See if there's any Finnish ones we can sign. Because if we can upgrade the Finnish scouts, that would be phenomenal. I know they're not bad right now, but 
Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. There, there's not really. Can this guy scout Finland? Nope. And it's the Nordic guys that we need. Yeah, no, there's we can't really upgrade Finland, Finland right now. So that's okay. Okay, that. Coaches, we sh are fine. Maybe not. If we can upgrade a coach. Yeah, I know. If we can upgrade a coach, that would be nice. 62% fit. 43. 58. As of right now, we're going to go for the first coach. 65, but he's an A-. minus. What's this guy's... He's only got a B for teaching. We need a guy with good teaching numbers. 58. What's his teach? Okay, we're going to try and sign this guy. Um, he's a little bit less slightly when it comes to a fit. But there are certain guys that fit this team. It's mostly our defense that doesn't fit, though. Which would concern me for Kibi Harju. You know what? We're just going to sit for now on that. And we're going to skip to next season. Um, just going to make sure everybody's signed here. And then we'll get into season number two. Come on. Okay, here we go. That's one. Two. Three, four, five. Come on, now we're just waiting on the goalie, I think. Let's go. Come on, that's huge. And and Kapanen. <sighs> okay, that is absolutely clutch going into the season number two. That is going to help us out going into this season. Honestly, so much. Okay, so just, just got to skip through the off season now, and I will see you guys in a minute. So we are back at the preseason of season two, and we are sitting okay now. Uh, this team is starting to come together. Obviously, we got Kapanen and Kapanen, but uh, yeah, getting Oliver Kapanen definitely will help the team. He jumped up to a 73 from a 71 already, so he's already making some growth. Gets to play with Konsta Kapanen. Pretty, they gotta be brothers. Look, they, there's no way these guys aren't brothers. I got them paired with Vice and Ann. Uh, trying to make the lineups work here. Um, it's going to be interesting, but I think this team is... We won, th I think, three games last year. So, it's possible this team could do some damage. And by damage, I mean win five games, potentially. I hope. I would love this team to win five games. I don't think we're going to win a lot, but uh, we're definitely in a better spot than we were coming into it. Let's make sure our potential guys are playing. So Heinen is a medium 7th, so we want him in the lineup if possible, which is possible, thankfully. Uh, was he a lefty or a righty? Heinen, lefty. Okay, that's fine. So we will take Suomi out. And we will put... Oh, what's this Urvasi? No, Urvasi, no. Viori, nope. We want Heinen in the lineup. Just because, again, we need to get these guys playing. Oh, okay. Here we go. And that gives us a plus one there, actually, which helps. So, okay, that one's good. And it's all f defensemen that are healthy scratches. So I'm okay with that. Mirror lane ends up to a 75. Thank you. That is huge. And Valley is a... 67. I'm okay with that. Vinny's gonna get to play him. We might bring him up. You know, we're gonna play him in the minors this year. Let him develop a little bit. Uh, no need to rush him. Let him play in the minors a little bit with Korhonen. Again, because again, picking up Miralainen was massive. So we're just gonna make sure we need everyone playing that is, which we are. So hang on. Here we go. Even strength. Get our pro drafted guys just playing as high as possible here. Which, as of right now, they currently are not. Koistinen, he's going to move up the lineup. Play on the top line. He's a right winger, so we'll play him there. Irvella. Okay. The fourth line is where it looks like most of our guys are starting out. Okay, is there any way... And that might be the... I want to get this guy some ice time. He's only a medium bottom six. 
Okay, he's a grinder though, so fourth line's fun. Um, yeah, we can make that work. Because again, Lyman and he's... Yeah, no, we're just going to do that. I'm fine with going with uh, no pluses here. Rajaniemi, that's fine. Medium six, a low seventh. Okay, uh, so both of our lefties by the looks of it are... Oh, no. Right D and lefty is the guys that were drafted. We really can't have... Oh, no. I mean... This is not going to be pretty. Yemenin's got to play there. Okay, that's why we have center there. But either way, it still gives a minus five. That's not good. Uh, what's Imminence fit? He's a third. Fits on a third pair. Pessonen. Oh no. Okay. Uh, this guy's gonna have to play. We're just gonna have to live with this one. Um. Yeah, because that's not ideal. But we gotta get our drafted guys playing together. So minus two. But then that's a minus three. So we're gonna go with this. And just gonna have to live with that. Again, Persona and the goalies, we're fine with that. Uh, okay, we're gonna do this. Go NHL. And get underway with the Season 2 Sim after we check out the draft class. See if there's any fins at the top. Okay, there is a fin at number 5. We will be taking this guy more than likely. Which would sort out our defense. Unless there's a forward that... and Unless Luxonen ends up being... A gem. If he's a gem, then we're going to have to take him over Coco, though. Because we do need the forward. So I'm just going to highlight a bunch of the finished players here. And then we will definitely get things sorted out. Yep, so he plays in the SHL. So I'm glad I have a scout there. Like a high-end scout as well. Okay, so let's go sort by Liga. Kind of, oh, this guy's not finished, though. There's some, definitely some good players, but there, some of them aren't finished. This Rene kid could be a second round pick for us. Same thing with Hacken. Uh, Laxo, Imonen. Imonen's a forward. Okay, here we go. Just keep searching. Again, just going to highlight all the fins. Try and get as many of them as possible. Man, this kid jumped up from 447 all the way to 98. This kid could really jump in the draft for us. One thing I'm going to take a look at is to make sure Kivi Harju is, uh, to see that I forgot to check, is if he developed any abilities over the offseason. So we'll take a look at this. So, oh, no, do that. Again, I'll just do it inside the top 300 uh, for fins. And because usually after that, they don't develop or anything. So I'll take a look at the SHL for fins. I know there won't be many, but... There is a... Oh, there's a few good ones, though. There's a few good ones in the top 100 that we could take. I'm glad that I came over to check this. Because we do have some good pro, uh, scouts for the SHL. Which will really help with uh, finding these guys. So, that was that. That was Venskin. Nope. Only one player. Russia. Just out of a complete wing it. I figured I'd check if there's any fins. And there will not be, as expected. I just wanted to take a really quick look at that one, just to be sure. Rest of the world, nobody. Now we go WHL, just by slim chance, but there's a couple fins playing here. Again, top 300, nope, we're good. Again, I know that there's not going to be any, like it's rare for there to be one to pop up, but uh, I figured I'd take a look just to play it safe. That's fine. Just doing my due diligence here. Yep, these ones will all be US, that's fine. Dell, I can't see there being any. I would be shocked if there was a fin in here. We're good. NLA, we are clear. Extra Liga, you might see one in here, potentially. Nope. Ice is the last one that we got to check. And we are good and ready to get going with season number two with road to turku let's go uh we can yeah no, we'll skip to the regular season and then i will take a we'll slow sim the first game just to see by slim chance if we can do anything it will take a miracle but 
It's worth a shot. Oh, no. Skip. I really hope it didn't just sign give a bunch of our guys $2 million contracts. And it did. Good thing we got rid of pretty much all the guys that we didn't need. But those buyouts are going to hit a little bit harder now when I have to get to them. That or we're just going to have to trade them all and then trade our picks um, to other teams, which might be what we do. Because we don't have a ton of expiring deals. Obviously, Kapanen's going to be one that we end up signing. Um, no, I don't want to hit that. Um, yeah, that was my screw up. But I know we can get rid of them. That won't be an issue. It's just hopefully they don't want a big contract, which thankfully they won't. Um, okay, Raj and Amy, we're going to re-sign though. Just because he does have okay potential, so it's worth getting him signed right now. Check the goalies. Backup we will sign him right now. That way, the American League ones can get out soon. Okay, now we can officially get season number two underway. And see, what are we setting the over-under at here? We won three games last season. We had ten points. I think we overachieved. Um, I'm going to say... I'm going to say we finish with four wins... Because we did add a few pieces. So four wins and 11 points. I think we only beat it by one point, our record, our total from last season. I might be high, too optimistic on that one, but... Yeah, see, we're already 0-11-1. Oh, we got a win. We beat Buffalo. Come on. We're 1-13-1. This team is going to be absolutely terrible. One, can we hit two wins before the 25 game mark is what I want to see. We got spanked by Montreal, losing overtime. So we're up to four points already. So we have two OT losses. So we're getting some OT losses. We Okay. We're going to take a look here. Through 27 games, we have one win. And Kivi Harju is lighting it up, all things considered. All things considered, he's lighting up. He's leading this team in points. Kapanen's got 12 points. Consta Kapanen's got 9. And let's look at the defense here. Kivi Harju obviously leading the way. 17 points. Medium elite. He's still that low overall at a 72, which is okay. Because he's going to develop into a beast for us next year. And Mira Landon's actually playing good. He's got only an 895, but if you look what's in front of him, I mean, you got you got to have zero complaints about that. So, with that said, let's skip to the end of the regular season and see if we can't set a new franchise record for points this year. Again, we're not at the halfway mark yet. We're at four points, and we do have one win. Hopefully, we can get a couple more here and keep adding to the team. Come on, we need it. Uh, see, I think we are taking a step. Oh, we got two wins. We beat the Devils. I don't know how we beat them, but we did. We okay, we need... <laughs> We need five, oh, an overtime loss. Another, jeez, we have four overtime losses right now. We are three points away from setting a franchise record for points in a single season. But it might come from all overtime losses, mostly. 13 to 8, my god, what a game that was against Detroit. Jesus. Okay, here we go, Minnesota, Carolina. Man, 251 and 4. The worst is this could end up being a step forward this season by the end of it. Almost beat Edmonton. Okay, keep current trade block. And continue simming. See if there's any big deals here. If they pop it up on the screen or not. And Travis Hammonick on waivers. No thank you. Uh, yeah, I don't think we're setting a franchise record for points. It's going to be really tough. We need an OT loss and a win to do it. It's not looking likely anymore, but we have... Two wins, but man, 64 loss, 60, we did get a shootout loss, so we're a win away from a franchise record, or two OT losses, one of the two. There's the OT loss, so franchise and a win, we just set the franchise record for points in a season, and we matched our total for wins. Didn't break, the, break it for the wins, but we did keep it tight. Kimmy Harger finishes the year with 52 points. Let's show you the end of season stats here and see where we are. 
Okay, Kibby Harger's up to a 74. So he went up two points throughout the year. That will help us a lot. 45 assists, 7 goals. His shot's coming... I think his shot's about the same still, but everything else is starting to develop. And then... 42 points for Parviranta. Kapanen's up to a 74. That's big for us. That is really big. He had 40 points. Konsta Kapanen, he's 39 points. That's okay. Vaisenen. Well, Vaisenen had 24 goals. Lyukas had 21 goals. And 29 points. 24, 20, 17. He's up to 61, 15, 14, 10, 19. I mean, 9, 8, 7, 5 for An Antonin. Uh, 5, and that is it. Go down to the goalies. Yep. The only reason we won three games was Mayor Lannan. 8, 8, 5. His goals against has come down. The goals against for this team did come down a little bit. Last year, this guy had a 565, I believe. And obviously, having Mary Lane in and net is going to help tremendously. So with that said, let's go check out the league stats here. Oh, not the AHL. Uh, NHL, go check out this. Jesus. Brad Marsh had 120 points. Whew. Safe to say he lit it up. Dreisaitl with 117, McDavid 114, Crosby 114 at 37, unbelievable. Pasta 113, Malkin, Robertson, Nugent Hopkins with 109, Heinz, Panarin, Rantanen, Eric Carlson, Jeff, Jeff Skinner put up 100 points. Wow, following an 82-point season the season prior. Heischer with 100, Kaprizov 99, McKinnon 99, Barkov 99. And OV 97. League leaders and goals. Ovechkin puts up 61 following a 55 goal season. He's up to 938 in his career. Pasta with 59. Kane puts up 54. Debrink at 53. Matthews 53. And Malkin 52, 52, 51 for Dreisaitl, Robertson, and Rantanen. Marchand with 50. McDavid 48. The rookies, this thing's probably still broken. No, looks like it decided to work for this season. Uh, Headstrom's going to take home the Calder. Plus 7, 61 points and 32 goals. Marco Casper will be second, and Ludwig Nicholas will finish in third, more likely than not. Bobby Brink's starting to come along for Philly as well. Oliver Kapanen just outside that top three. And goaltenders, Shesterkin leads the way and wins. Shutouts belongs to Connor Hallibuck. So the Vesna is probably going to Vitek Vanacek. Five shutouts and a 913. So yeah, safe to say Vanacek, good possibility he'll take home the Vesna. So let's get to the end of the playoffs and see who wins the cup. Check the playoff stats. And then we will go through the draft, and that will be the end of this episode. And then, I'm, like I said, it'll probably be a couple days, and we'll upload the next one. Okay, here we go. Get over here. The New Jersey Devils win the Stanley Cup. I think, I could be wrong, I think they might have won it season one as well. And Arizona jumps from 7-1 to one in the lottery. We fall from 1-2. to two. It's not ideal, but there, I, see, I do know that there is guys that we can take. It's just a matter of how much they jumped up. So if you go by games played here, Thornton calls it quits. Suter, Mark and Eric Stahl, Giordano, Lucic, Goligoski, Broussard, and Ismov. Check if there's any other noticeable names. Nope. Goalies, none. So, here we go. Eric Stahl, coach for Boston. Mark Stahl, coach for Calgary. Thornton, scout for Florida. Giordano, scout for Toronto. So, I'm going to continue simming here. Get ch Check out the draft class. And see who we're going to be taking. It's Okay, Kako's a medium four offensive defenseman. This could be very good. He's listed as three years out, which is not ideal. I mean, he's he's going to be in the lineup no matter what. 
And here we go. We're taking Laxanen. We need we need the forward. Um, and yeah, he's potentially got an ability. He's already confirmed medium elite. Five eleven left winger. I mean, this guy's gonna be it. This guy is definitely the pick. Yeah, cause see the. You know why can't it just show me this by um actual rank? Would be ideal, but. Well, yeah, I guess okay. So Kako at five. Pedersen at 16, he's a few years away. Yeah, no, it's definitely Luxon in here. Definitely going to be taking Luxon, in, not the defenseman. There is a gem later on, Teravinen. Five years out, but he's listed as a gem, so we might be able to make something happen with that one. That could be big. Um, so this guy's a second rounder. We don't have enough on him, but he does look like he's a pretty well-confirmed B shooter. Which would be good. I, if we can avoid taking... Man, this guy's got three B-minuses. He's got his stats confirmed. Three years out. Mm, but he's only a medium nine. That's kind of what concerns me with that pick. Laxo in the second round. I mean, if we can get a defenseman in the second round, that's kind of what I would like. But uh, it's kind of a hit or miss. Goaltenders. I really don't want to take another goalie this draft. Like, this guy had a 942. He only played 10 games, but a 942 at 18 years old in the toughest league. But it says he's five years out. Mmm. Okay, no, we got to stick to the forwards here. Because uh, we definitely want to load up on forwards, because that's our best chance at moving on up. And as soon as the draft is done, I'll check out the awards as well. With Although it kind of gives away a couple here. Devils with the cup, obviously. Carlson, the Norris, Hedstrom, as I was saying prior, takes home the caller. Now, Arizona with pick number one, takes Rodine, 80 overall, medium elite, again. Oh man, this guy went up. Oh man, he went, I think he was a medium four when we looked at him last time, and now he's up to a high four. Oh man. I think we still have to go with... Yeah, and see, he's still three years... says three years out. He would be a good fit. I, I still have to go with the forward. I mean, I just don't know how I don't take the forward in Laksonen. Because he's a medium elite. Everything's con pretty much confirmed at A's. I said A minus senses, but that's fine. Like, this, this guy, and he could potentially have shock and awe. So, yeah, we're going to take Laksonen here. Take a bit of a reach and take him. 78. That is massive for us. We finally get that big name forward. He's got, considering it's right out of the draft, great puck skills. A good shot. Pretty good speed considering he's coming into the league. And he's a left winger, but he can take faceoffs. And his ability is only all alone. So it's not a great one, but it definitely helps. Let's see who the defenseman is going to be. Yes, he's better than Michael Misa out the draft. Okay, that defenseman's probably going Seattle. Oh, no. Pekonov. Okay, so that defenseman's a high 4, 65 overall. I think we made the right pick there. So now let's get underway with the second round here and make our next selection. Tosco is a medium 9. He's got, again, he's got good sense. He's a good offensive guy, but it doesn't look like he's got much else to him. Rene. Uh, we don't know anything on him. Hacken could be a... Hacken could be something. Hang on, Hacken could be something here. Okay, I'm going to take it off of these guys. Since they're right at the top. Just to try and make this a bit easier. Uh, yeah, Hacken could be a play here. I mean, I just don't know enough about that guy. Mm, yeah, we could finally be making a big selection here. So this is pick 34. I'm not going to take him. We're on pick 34. Oh, man. We could really do some damage. Well, we, the next one would be pick 66. So, Hackens. Maybe. I don't know. Um, 94. He's going to be later. Okay. I think I know what we're going to do here. So, I think it's... I think it's going to be Hacken here. 
I mean, it's only a D, but it's, like, it says D, but it's only got one bar, so it could be higher. His defense isn't great, skating's not, but his senses are good enough, and his shooting potentially could be phenomenal. What about Toskala? Again, he's got, Toskala's confirmed a good offensive guy with bad defense and average physical. But again, th listed three years out, medium nine, or you go for the guy who could be a medium six. I'm going to try taking hack in here and hope for the best. You know what? That's fine. That's fine. It was a low six, so I'm okay with that. Uh, let's just see what this guy that would have been. And Tosco is a 62, so a little higher, but he's a medium nine. So it's kind of pretty well the same pick, in my opinion. We couldn't have gone wrong there. I feel like the low six could give me better hope, I'm thinking. Uh, it's it's going to be interesting to see in the long run who pans out better. We cannot take this guy, but he is listed a gem. This guy, we don't know much about him, but I might end up just taking him. No. Yeah, the, okay, no, this guy's terrible. Um, and what's his strengths? Oh, it doesn't really show us. Five years out. Uh, again, again, I'm not taking any goalies here. I uh, just really don't... Okay. Again, this kid's a gem. Vinanen. But he's... Again, this kid's 20 years old. Five years away. I don't know how you can list him a gem. And again, I don't want to take a goalie. I think Yalkinen might be the play. Because again, like I said before, I'm not taking a goalie. It's either... Yalkinen or Unilla? I think it's Yalkinen. No. We're going to take a gamble here on Yanilla and just kind of hope that this works out for us. Oh, where do we go, Matinen? It's a, no, it's Matinen or it's Kavasori. I'm thinking Matinen, though. Who's closer potential was? We don't know. That's not ideal. I might go... Oliver Kapanen's getting good, though. Um, I think I'm going to go Matinen. Hang on. I think Matinen's the play. Yeah, we're just going to take the best available to us here and hope for the best. A low 9. That's not good. Yeah, we needed better than that one. I'm not going to lie. Needed a better pick there. Defenseman can play both sides. It's only 18. That one could be good for us. Okay, I think this is where I'm going to take this gem, though. I know he's listed as a little older. But again, he's listed as a gem, so we're going to hope for the best here. Low elite. Okay, if we can develop this kid right, he could still potentially make it. That could be huge. Okay, we needed a guy with that kind of potential. Okay, let's see who we got left here for taking. Okay, 131 is the highest. Tukio? Maybe. F again, five years out. Probably not it. Uh, 141. So that was that Tukio kid. Not going to take him. At least not right now. Karolotti. We could use a right winger. Uh, potential Ninamaki. This guy could be a low six, though. Hang on, Tukio's gonna be the play. Because his potential looks likely to hit. Ah, low nine. I mean, at least it's NHL potential. But, uh, definitely would like it to be a little bit better. If I'm being honest. We've got some guys left that we can still take. A low six. He might be a seven, though. That's my only concern. Uh, Curry. It's, it's either Escalinen or Kerr. Um, we're going to take Escalinen. He is ranked inside the top 300, which gives us a better chance of him being something. Okay, low six. No, again, not ideal, but it works out. So now, onto the seventh round, our final pick. And we, sh we should be able to get the same kid. Yeah, we can get Curry here. Again, there's a bunch of guys that we just don't know anything about, but they're also listed outside. 
of that range. Uh, Curry. Do we know anything on any of these kids? Like, even just a little bit, just to give me a rating. Uh, this kid might not be bad. Okay, I'm gonna go... Because Curry's out with the picture, and I'm not taking a goalie. So it's between Hutanen and Tuola. It's gonna be Hutanen. And he's also the highest rate guy available to us. Uh, low bottom six. So that's it for the draft. Let's go and get those guys signed. And deal with the, the contracts here. And then I will call this an episode for season number two. But again, oh, that's huge. Kiri Harger's up to a 79. Kapanen's up to a 77. Wow, that's big. And his shot got better. Oh man, that's huge. That is massive. We could not, yeah, no, we couldn't ask for a better off season to start here. Piper Ranch is up to 72. We got guys ready to go. Some of our guys who were playing in the American League jumped up as well. Uh, what are goalies? Merrill Lane is still 75, but at least that's kind of usable. Uh, Goaltending wise, they haven't really done anything. Uh, and none of their deals are up. Let's take a look here. So obviously Kapanen's getting signed. Um, we're going to sign him actually... Uh, I gotta be careful here too, though. Uh, just with uh, contracts, we'll sign him two years. I mean, four years at two point five. Just get him long term, and hopefully that's a cheap deal. And if he keeps developing, how we do? Maybe he jumps up to like an eighty. If he can develop and be that big point guy for us, then that would help big time. Especially when this guy's wanting more than Kapanen, which makes no sense. But um, yeah, that makes perfect sense, I guess. Um, oh, I guess it helps if I actually go to the spot that I can, to the point that I can qualify them. That always helps. Okay, coaches are going to need signed, and the one league of scout will need signed. Okay, Oliver Kaplan's back. That is big. The coaches, I can just, yeah, we'll get the coaches signed and just kind of deal with that. Laxonen, 78 overall. We have a forward line. Laxonen, Kapanen, and probably Pyrorenta. Oh no, yeah, and Pry Pyrorenta might be on the top line next year if it's not this Kapanen kid again. Vicenin, he'll actually be making less than he was last year, so that's fine. 2.5, it, it eats up cap space for us, which we do need to continue to do to avoid signing, needing to sign cap oils. Uh, give him, again, two-way deals, we can always just go the max right now. Which is completely fine with me. This guy's at 23 now. Just making sure. Like I said, we eliminate all the guys that we didn't need. So at least we're at a point where we can offload uh, contracts and stuff. Okay, these guys. Okay, we'll sign this guy for one year. Just to make sure we have the space. Uh, Goalies. No one expired. Let's check the unsigned players. Hacken will get signed. Uh, Matnin. Okay, Teravine is going to get signed now because we need him immediately in the American League. Low. Yeah, see, lots of low potentials in that draft. But it was good enough in a sense that it's players we can use. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to skip the free agency here. Again, the coaches I will deal with. He, on my own here. Yeah, just make sure everyone's signed and then we'll do this. We're up to 47 contracts, which is a bit scary. The, yeah, see, these guys can just sit for a season. Um, and actually, no, we're going to sign this one. And he's going to sit for one season because he's still only 18. And this one's going to... No, we're going to sit just based off contracts right now. I'll move out some contracts and then just trade the picks or whoever has the number one pick next year type thing. Okay, so now we'll sign the coaches and scouts. Because that we do need to make sure we get done. And this could just take a minute just to kind of get through. Depending how much it decides the coach wants. 
it's always hit or miss with these things. Um, sometimes you can, if they want less money, you can do it quicker and the budget will shut you down. But unfortunately, yeah, thankfully that happened. Yeah, what a record. Six wins, 148 losses. <laughs> oh, man. You just hate to see that, how bad this team is. But that said, you can see the kind of base of this team starting to come together now. And we've, because again, we finally got that first line of offense. Now we just need to, again, pick up a couple more defensemen that are going to be good. And again, if we can land a forward in free agency that's 19, 20 years old with like medium six potential, then we're pretty well set. Okay, you know, this guy's going to be an NHL goalie coach. And we're going to offer him the maximum that we can because he's god awful. Uh, I think that was all that we needed. It was, again, scouts, make sure we lock up the guys that we need. This will be really quick because, again, the budget thing just keeps it as tight as possible, but still allows you to sign everyone. Again, I'm going to sign all the scouts, but at the end of the day, a lot of them we don't even need. Like WHL, I, I've noticed all the Canadian, like these Canadian ones we actually don't need because they don't produce any fin Finnish prospects. So basically we just need to keep the Finnish ones, the SHL, and I will keep the Dell ones, uh, just in case uh, one happens to sign. Or be good type thing. So that, hopefully everyone accepts their deals. There we go. I think we're sitting good now. There we go, one coach is in. Two coaches in. Three coaches in. Come on. And the goalie took it. I, That was the only one I was worried wouldn't take, but at the same time, I easily could have replaced them. Uh, scouts are taking their deals, which is perfect. Love to see that. Get us to free agency. Before we do that, since I almost forgot, I will go over the awards and the playoff tree. So again, the Devils won the cup in seven games. They had to go through three game sevens to beat the Rangers in seven round one. Beat the Islanders in four, swept them out. Then they beat the Wings in seven and won the cup in seven against Minnesota. Minnesota's path to the cup was sweeping Dallas in round one, beating Winnipeg in six, and beating Edmonton in six as well. So let's take a look at your Stanley Cup winning lineup. Jack Hughes, 39 points in 25 games. Highly 93 overall. Good lord. Wow. Jesper Brad had 37. He's up to a 90. And yeah, Minnesota with Caprizov, Timo Meyer. And easiest way to do this, just go down to New Jersey. So Hughes brought Meyer. He sure is a 92. Man, Dougie Hamilton, Dawson Mercer, Eric Howla, Andre Plot, Luke Hughes is already an 83. Nino Niederer, Cody Ceci, Oscar Sundquist, Alex Holt, who's an 81. He's starting to come along, potentially. Siegenthaler, Marino, Forbert, McLeod, Nate Schmidt, and in goal, Vitek Vanacek. He's kind of struggled in the playoffs compared to regular season. But uh, he did enough to get them a Stanley Cup, obviously. So I don't think they're complaining. And again, we finished 3, 73, and 6. And that is going to be the second episode of your Road to Turku Draft to Glory franchise. So with that said, guys, if you guys like this video, hit that thumbs up button. And if you want to see more, make sure you also subscribe to the channel. It helps a ton for me, you guys. So it is much appreciated if you guys do like the videos. And I will see you guys in the next one.